arrived in Surabaya Airport. Now I need to find a way to Wuben Station to buy the ticket to get to Brobong Lingo, the place nearby Romo Mount. You could see when you are in Indonesia, bring room just literally everywhere. After filling up some kind of custom form, I'm just going out, trying to exchange some money and buying a new local SIM card. Hi, I want to exchange some money. Can. I'm in rush to see one of my older friends from Indonesia who is already waiting for me in Gubeng Station. Instead of walking out, trying to find a yellow one card, I decide to grab a taxi for faster. Of course, it's gonna be more expensive, but it's a better option for me to be on time. Your name? My name is Yusu. Yusu. Yes. I'm gonna like yeah, suggest yeah. people about you know yeah. taking your yes. car, but you know next time, just give her some discount, ten percent off. Is yeah. it okay? Okay. okay. Can I say how are you? How are you? Apa kabar? Hello. Hello. Abakaba. Yes, hello, Abakaba. How are you? Abakaba. Bye, fine. Okay, bye. How can I say thank you? Terima kasih. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. Yes. How much? How much? How much? This one. Berapa ini? Berapa ini? ini. Excuse me. Permisi. Okay. You know, now I forgot how to say thank you. <laughs> Welcome to Gubeng Rangwari Station. It looks quite nice, but I won't stay here for long. I need to find my Indonesian friend, say hi to her, and then go buy ticket quickly to Bubong Lingo. This is risky. My friend from Indonesia, we haven't met for so long. So the last time we met each other is in Tokyo, Japan. So later we will catch up. I need to do a few steps to get the ticket from the ticket machine and it costs 90 rupees to get the ticket to Bourbon Lingo. Voila, I got the ticket. Here we go. Say bye bye. <laughs> Then we cannot speak English. They try to speak uh, Bahasa with me, and I try to communicate with them in English. Even I don't understand like, what they are saying, but I still feel like it's fine. Yeah. 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 Profile lingo. Warung is kind of a local restaurant with all local food, rice mixed with everything, so we just need to get full. Today's dinner, so simple. Bon appetit! This is the homestay room in Semorawang. We just found with really good rice, so it's like everything we have in the room and now it's really ugly the weather is pretty chilly in Bromo so I'm bringing some warm stickers with me I just don't want the cold ruins my moment that's why I stick those stickers to my hoodie which help my body warm and I could enjoy the view the most Local time is 2.30 in the morning, it's too early, but I'm not feeling lazy, I'm just so excited. After getting out of the homestay, luckily I could find a Gojek, 
right in front of the house, taking me to Penanyakan viewpoint with 100 rupees for return. What's your name? Uji. 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 The sky looks so good. So many stars. From Singapore? No, from Vietnam. Vietnam? Yeah. Whole oh, Thai. Oh, it's not a good bird at all. Really bumpy. Do you have a noodles? Me. Me. You have me? Yeah. Okay. Um, is it good? One. Uh, no egg. No egg. Yeah, I don't need egg. Okay. And do you have a tea? Yeah. Tea. What kind of tea you have? Sugar? Uh, no sugar. Uh, one or two? What kind of tea? Can I see the tea? Oh, yeah. that one? Yeah. What is that? Can I see it? Tea, tea. candy while young tea okay oh. this one okay. the noodle is done time to eat okay. you're making tea yeah. okay yeah. thank you so it's like 5,000 for each right 10,000 for noodles a little bit sweet it's fine it's really good for my throat now because my throat is so dry. Oops, too hot. Here. So now I'm trying to walk up to the mountain to see the sunrise. Oh, and, uh, but it's really dark in here. Just me, the mountain, and the moon, and the whole galaxy so beautiful <sighs> after 40 minutes hiking up i finally could settle and wait for the sunrise waiting in the dark and cold sounds torturing but when the sun rises up you will see the beautiful subtle pink orange glow on the clouds the slight movement of the clouds around the peak and the texture the detail of bromo itself you feel your efforts just worth Everything looks so beautiful. That is Bato. And this one is Bobo. And the one far away is Silo. And later, we're gonna get down there and walk over there to s and then climb up to the crater to see what's inside. But this is like what people were waiting for, the smoke getting out of the mountain. It looks so cool. After the sunrise viewing, most people would proceed to the Bromo crater to peek into the smoking crevice. To get there without paying the hefty 350k entrance fee, you need to find the secret passes next to the Hotel Semara Inda. You get inside the parking lot, go right, down to the pathway that leads you to the Sea of Sand, not only free but also a shortcut. If you get any navigating problem, just don't hesitate to ask locals, they will help you with that. Believe me, it's really easy. Now I'm trying to walk down to this sea of sand and the road is so bad oh. Oops. the road is so bad we just need to follow the horse foot green or the horse poos so that we could get to the right place we want to go I'm so close to the sea of sand <gasps> finally in front of me the place is absolutely free of tourists because the usual tourists do not pass by the sea of sand how lucky I am when I know I made the right decision I feel like this whole magnificent landscape out there belonging to me, just only me. I'm so amazed and want to cherish this peaceful walking moment forever. 
Let's make footprint on the moon. So cool to play around here. And the sand here is like not yellow or white. It having dark gray color because it mixed with volcanic ash. So that's why it have this kind of color. And when you touch this, it's kind of soft and quite cool. If somebody's like feeling so hard after walking for so long, you know, people could like swim in here. We really want to bring some back home to put in the borders as a souvenir to people. But I don't know whether people here gonna jail me or not because like there's a one news in uh, French TV that some French tourists going to Italian beach and bring some uh, sand from that beach back home and then they got like sick wet jail because it's illegal to bring like the sand or something like that um, to the other country like outside of that country Don't be lazy, just walk as much as you can. It's good for your health. It's also really good to be with the nature while walking. The trail to the bottom of Mount Bromo is full of dust with so many horses and riders going back and forth. That's the opportunity to pay for the horse ride to reach the base easily, but I don't recommend it. If you could hear how hard the horses are breathing while carrying people, you would understand why you should not do that. Regardless on how you get to Mount Bromo's base, you still need to climb up an extremely steep stairway. After that, you will be on top. Really steep. Almost there. Try a bit more. Okay, made it. I cannot believe that the active volcano is right under my nerves. It's just so cool. Contributing to my excitement is the noise coming out from inside Bromo Crater. But walking along the edge of it, I could hear and feel the power of the nature within it. Believe me, it's just loud. I spent an hour sitting down, watching the smog, smelling sun fur, viewing back the sea of sand, and of course, flying a drone as my hobby. I still cannot believe in what's just happening. Really? An active volcano? It's just so overwhelming.